give you a Christmas quiz.
23rd book of the Bible, he lived during the decline of Israel in the shadow of the powerful Assyrian Empire. Who was he? Amos, Micah, Luke, or Isaiah?
promised to send the Messiah and Savior. According to my book, why was God going to send the Savior? To bring salvation through sacrifice? He didn't like us. To punish us? He was angry with us. despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with deepest grief. He turned our backs on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not hear. Yet it was our weaknesses he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so he could be whole. He was whipped so he could be healed. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. We have left, left God's paths to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. Wow, that's God's love for you. Thank you all. Thank you for your time, Isaiah. Please, will you do the honor of introducing our next guest? It would be my honor. All right, everyone, for my next question, I'll give you a difficult one. Listen to Louis' clues carefully. This prophet also spoke about Jesus. He was a very young man who at first felt shy about telling older people, older than him, about God's messages until God encouraged him to do so. He was often called the weeping prophet because of his consistent messages about God's coming judgment. But he also told of God's futures to write his laws on human hearts. God's instructions to him were, to pluck and to break down, but also to build and to plant. Also, his book of the Bible comes right after mine. Who is he? Jeremiah. Ezekiel, Daniel, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Hosea. <laughs> Jeremiah. descendant? Was it Mary, Joseph, or both Mary and Joseph? Quick answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, David, tell us a quick answer. 
Well, actually, the answer is several. Several? What does that mean? Well, you know that everyone is related from, to Noah, right? Mm-hmm. So technically, that means you and I are long-lost cousins. Well, technically, so are Mary and Joseph. The way families blend together is like a big tree with many limbs. Luke and Matthew don't actually list the exact same bunch of branches of people to get to Jesus, but they are both true. They just took a couple different limbs to climb down that tree from Abraham to Jesus. So the answer is actually that several of Jesus' grandparents were my direct descendants, and Mary and Joseph both were my long, long, down the tree, great, great grandchildren. Thank you for joining us today, David, and explaining to us the wonderfully, wonderfully full, yet oddly complicated branches of your family. Well, that's Botany in a nutshell. If you have any other questions about God's family, just look into those long roots of genealogy in the Bible a little closer. I wasn't the biggest apple on the top, you'll see, but I was close. Start from the top and climb down, but don't go barking up the wrong tree. I've been waiting over 3,000 years to plant those puns. I'm glad you didn't beat it around the bush explaining it. It's important to dig a little deeper and sow the seeds of truth. Moving right along before we stand here all day until someone has to uproot us. I have another guest to introduce. He is a prophet like me. Okay, that's pretty vague. Okay, I'll give you a few clues. His book only has seven chapters. Okay, if you need another one, it's the 33rd book of the Bible. Was it Hosea? Was it Micah? Was it Daniel? Or was it Obadiah? Everyone that answered Micah, you are correct. And everyone, please welcome Micah as we join and stand and sing Angels We Have Heard on High. Micah 5, verse 2. But you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, are only a small village among all the people of Judea. Yet a ruler of Israel will come from you, one whose origins are from distant past. Correct. Why? To save mankind? How? As a sacrifice that would be that would replace all the old law, everyone please allow us to see. Verse 30 
be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord of God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. So God does have things for ordinary people. Everyone, please welcome Mary, Mother of Jesus, and Joseph, earthly father of Jesus. Now for an easy question. True or false? Jesus was born in a barn. True or false? Judge? Jesus was born in a place of the manger, more likely a cave or tavern where the animals were held as next to or under the inn. If it was built, it was a mud brick kind of an adobe hut. So not a barn. False. Oh no! A trick question! You have to listen closely in this game. Please with song, sing with us the song Away in the Manger. Twenty, twelve, ten, or did he tell one? He told one. One parable about the foolish carpenter. He told parables about grapevines, olive presses, shepherds, and harvests multiple times. But do you know what else Jesus mentioned a lot? Building things. The verse that we have in the Bible that says, "Is this not the son of Joseph the carpenter?" More accurately translates to, is this not the son of Joseph, the builder? And Isaiah and Jeremiah mention something a lot about God. Finish this sentence for me. I am the potter, you are the mold, brick, hay, or was it clay? If you read my book, you obviously know it's clay. On to the next question. On the night Jesus was born, some people were outside in the dark. Who were they and what were they doing? Were they carolers singing? Children trick or treating? Shepherds guarding sheep or pipers piping? What's a piper? <laughs> Shepherds! They sound pretty sure of themselves, Judge. Luke 2, verse 8. 
That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. These contestants, these contestants are too smart and come on out with the shepherds. One more question. When we are given the message from the angels, what do they say Jesus would be to all people? We're looking for a three letter word. Was it joy, woe, awe, or wow? Stump you, Judge. What's the answer? Luke 2, verse 24. So then offered the sacrifice required in the law of the Lord, either a pair of the pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. There, now we all know. A 
Another tough question. Two people saw Jesus in the temple, an elderly man and woman. The man was told he would see the Savior before he died. And the woman was a prophet like Micah, Isaiah, Jeremiah. What were their names? Jacob and Elizabeth? Jack and Jill? Simeon and Anna? Or Micah and Rachel? and devout and eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and had revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. That day, the Spirit led him to the temple. So, when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord as the law required, Simeon was with. He took the child in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace, as you have promised. I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. Luke 2, verse 36 through 38. Anna was a prophet, was also there, there in the temple. She was the daughter of Phanuel from the tribe of Asher, and she was very old. Her husband died when they had been married only seven years. Then she lived as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but stayed there day and night, worshiping God with fasting and prayer. She came along just as Simeon was talking to Mary and Joseph, and she began praising God. She talked about the child to everyone who had been waiting expectantly to God to rescue Jerusalem. Everyone, please welcome Simeon and Anna, and please join us as we sing Joy to the World. research, no one can fault you for not uh, being thorough. Yeah, that's true. But just remember, not everyone has your memory for details. I have an easy question. How many wise men came to see Jesus at the manger? None. Unknown. Twenty. Three.
Stand. Matthew 2, verse 1, 2, and 11. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw the star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. There you have it. These wise men saw Jesus at the house. You were listening. The Bible doesn't say three wise men. It just says wise men and three gifts. It never tells us how many, since we may not be able to to give you a trick question. At least my questions had a clear answer. But I suppose that is one fact I was unable to unearth myself. Not for lack of trying, I'm sure, Luke. Did you ever discover exactly which country the wise men came from? No. But I have unearthed some very intriguing similarities in the cultural belief systems in the Far East and the ancient legends pertaining to the regions surrounding the Indian Ocean. Da 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 Wise men, please come and make yourselves at home while the rest of us who can will stand up and we're going to sing Silent Night. <laughs>
Xander Harrison, Quizmaster. <laughs> Ethan Murdoch, he also has a solo, Judge. <laughs> Mike Schmidt, Isaiah. <laughs> ben Murdoch, he also has a solo, and that's Jeremiah. <laughs> David Murdoch, King David. <laughs> Brooklyn Hendrick, Micah. <laughs> Stephanie Howard, and Solo, Mary. <laughs> she was also part of the writers to this production, so she did a very good job. Stephanie Howard and myself. <laughs> 